गुड इवनिंग ऑल गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग सर गुड गुड इवनिंग सर यस Uh, we were going with permutations and combinations, right? Have you revised the notes? Have you? Have you revised or not? Anishk, Tawalika. हम्म यस ओके चलो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द सेम आई थिंक वी हैव लर्न्ड प्रॉपर्टी समय करेक्ट यस सर वी हैव लर्न्ड प्रॉपर्टीज एंड सॉल्व रिलेटेड क्वेश्चंस एज़ वेल ओके ओके सो टिल व्हाट वी डिस्कस आई मीन व्हाट क्वेश्चन इज यू आर सॉल्विंग दिस टुडे टिल व्हाट Tell which question. Make it false. Hello, guys. Are you here? I think we solved uh, how many different five letters word can be formed by using the letters of education. Am I correct? Yes. So one second. Yes, sir. So same question will take, but I'll change the condition. I'll change the condition. I'll change the condition. Same question I'll take. Just a minute. There go. okay so how many five different letter words can be formed by using letters of education such that first three letters are vowels and the next two are consonant repetition of the letters is not allowed this was the question look at this here is the same question i'm giving you the condition look at this here same question such that no condition for there is no condition okay no condition for 
थ्री लेटर्स ऑफ ओवल्स एंड टू पॉइंट लुक एट दिस मैंने मॉडिफाई कर दिया ठीक है सो लुक एट द क्वेश्चन सच इज थ्री लेटर्स आर ओवल्स एंड टू ऑल कॉन्सोनेट्स गेट माई पॉइंट हाँ हियर इन ब्रैकेट यू राइट राइट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस How many different letters? Different is nothing but repetition is not allowed. Okay, what we got to know here? Repetition is not allowed. Fine, and can be formed by using letters of education such as three letters and three letters and uh, three vowels and two consonants. Three letters of vowels and two or consonants. He has not given that first must be like you know the order of the vowels must be first, then you know consonant must come. There is a no such condition given here. So first consonants can come, then orders can. I mean, vowels can come. Then first vowels can come, then consonants can come. Anyone can come. Look at this here. Basically, here repetition is not allowed, right? So how many five different letters, right? So let's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five different letters can be formed by using education. Okay, how many three vowels? So three vowels. I need to select three vowels. I need to write five different letter words, right? So, out of five letters, I need to select three letters. Perfect. Okay. And into out of four letters, I need to select two consonants. Isn't it? Isn't it? Ha. Huh. Is this the right answer, guys? Is this the right answer? Who said you that yesterday, guys? Like in last question, if you open your notebook, please have a look at the you know previous question. Same question. It was almost same question. Such that first three letters are vowels and then next two are consonants. That is what the condition. First must be vowel. In first three positions, beta. Look at this here. In this first three positions must be vowels. Then next two position will be consonants. That is what the condition given to you. But here, but here, if you are remember properly, if you understand properly, beta. I told first three letters vowels and second two letters are Consonants are, but here no such condition. Here in first three positions, here first two positions consonants can come. Then here vowels can come, or first three vowels can come. Then last two consonants can come. Anything is possible here. There is a no such condition given to you. Then look at this here. In how many ways I can arrange now? See, out of five letters, I arranged three. I mean, I selected three vowels. Out of four. गेटिंग माई पॉइंट आउट ऑफ फोर हाउ मेनी ओवल्स है देखो बेटा आपको नहीं पता है तो ये ओवल्स हाउ मेनी ओवल्स है हाउ मेनी ओवल्स इन द लेटर आई मैन गिवेन वर्ड ए ई आई ओ यो कॉन्सोनेंट्स हाउ मेनी कॉन्सोनेंट्स है डी ओके टी डी सी D C T comma N. Okay, these are the consonants I have. So total five vowels I have, four consonants I have. So out of these five vowels, I'm selecting three vowels here. Out of four consonants, selecting two consonants. Get my point? Into what? Into what? Into five factorial. Get my point? Into five factorial. Why, guys? There are five chances. Anyone can come. You know, getting my point here. First three can be vowels, last two can be consonants. That is the condition number one. Or, or there is a one more condition. First two consonants can come, then last three vowels can come. There is a no condition given. In first place, anyone can come, either consonant or vowel. Getting my point. So there are five chances. Arranging those, you know, five letters. Arranging these five letters. How many chances here? Five chances. I can arrange in five different ways. So into five factorial. So that into five. Next, hope it is clear. Any doubt here? Any doubt, guys? Next, permutations of alike objects. Next concept is permutations of alike objects. Permutations of alike objects. Listen to me carefully here. Permutations of alike objects is what? Okay, let's say that uh, there is a word called room. Okay, there is a word called room. These two O's are same or not? Both are same or not? Both are alphabet O's only. 
So let's consider this as O1 and O2. Okay. Let's consider this as O1 and O2. We can arrange in how many ways? If I ask you to arrange these four letters in four, I mean different ways. How can you arrange four factorial ways, sir? So that is my answer, sir. Okay. Um, that is my answer. Four factorial ways. But here the condition is what? What is the question? What is the concept name actually? The concept name here is permutations of alike objects. Permutations of alike objects. I mean similar object. Look at this here. I have two times of O here. Then how many ways I can arrange here? Look at this here. Room. This can be arranged as O2, O1, M. There's a one way. Isn't it getting my point? Getting my point. Hello, people, are you able to understand or not? Hmm. Yes, sir. I can arrange like this. Now, how many ways? R, O1, M, O2, R, O2, M, O1, and R, M, O1, O2, R, M, O2, O1. I can arrange in different ways. Look at this here. A word starting with R. Word starting with R. Word starting with R. In how many ways I can arrange that? Word starting with R. How many ways? Look at this here. There is a word called room beta. There is a word called room. Okay. Example. Okay. See the word starting with word starting with R, how many possibilities? Six possibilities. Is there any other possibility other than this? No, it is not possible, right? So word starting with R is total six possibilities. Let's say that similarly you write with word starting with O, O1. How many possibilities? Guys, imagine, look at this here, word starting with R, six possibilities. Six possibilities. Okay. Then word starting with O1, word starting with O1, how many possibilities? Six possibilities. Six possibilities. Word starting with O2 also six possibilities. Word starting with M also six possibilities. But if you consider beta deco, if you consider this, if you consider, look at this here, if I take these both are same or not here o1 o2 both are same but i change first o i took it as o1 second o i took it as o2 but in fact both are same isn't it in fact both are same so look at this here ha huh. these six possibilities became as three possibilities or not first if i count like if i count one two three four five six there are six possibilities but if you technically observe that properly this both are same or not this is one possibility second possibility okay this is one possibility total how many possibilities three possibilities those six possibilities became as three possibilities now isn't it those six possibilities became as three possibilities then word starting with are three possibilities word starting with word starting with one second what i did beta first there was there were six possibilities, right? Six possibilities. What I did? Divided by two, I did. Why? Because look at this. One, two, three. These two things are similar. These two things are similar. These two things are similar. So instead of counting twice, I'm counting one time. By dividing by two. One, three. So how many possibilities? Three possibilities. And here also I'm doing six by two, which is giving me three possibilities. Uh, six by two, which is giving me three possibilities. Six by two, which is giving me three possibilities. Getting my point? So what I'm doing here, whenever you have, whenever you have, whenever you have like, you know, alike objects. So how do you arrange that particularly? How do you arrange that particularly? How do you write different words of that particular given word to you? What is the answer for this now? Room given. Room, how many letters it has? It has four letters. Divided by what I have to do? What I have to do? I simply divide with the two factorial. Get my point. I simply divide with what? Two factorial. Hope it is clear. Any doubts? Guys, what I'm doing here? Why I'm doing two factorial? Tell me. Well, because two O's repeated here. The number of O's repeated, I'm just you know, I'm, you know, dividing with that. So what is the answer of this now? Four factorial it can be written as four into three into two into one divided by two. Factor two into one, two into one will get cancel. Answer is going to be two L. This is how I can, you know, I can arrange the different words of the word called room. 
Understood, people. So from this, from this concept, what exactly the formula we can write? What is the formula we can write here? What is the formula we can write? Look at it. If I say, beta, if if there are m plus n plus p objects, then m are m are like n are like. And P alike, then then there total number of total number of arrangements is equal to what M plus N plus P. Factorial divided by m factorial into n factorial into p factorial. This is the formula for this concept. This formula is for what? Permutations of alike objects. Permutations of alike objects. For suppose you have repeated terms in you know a given word to you, then what we do? We simply take that particular factorial in the denominator. We'll solve a question. Very simple question. देखो अपने ले लिया कुछ भी एग्जांपल ले लो मैंने लेट मी टेक वन एग्जांपल आई एल आस्क यू क्वेश्चन सिंपल क्वेश्चन या मैथमेटिक्स ओके आई एम आस्किंग यू टू अरेंज इन अ डिफरेंट वेज हाउ कैन यू अरेंज बेटर लुक एट दिस 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 सो टोटल 3 9 हां टोटल 11 लेटर्स हैव सो 11 फैक्टोरियल डिवाइडेड बाय हाउ मेनी एम्स रिपीटेड हियर 1 Two, so two m's repeated, right? Two factorial, and how many a's repeated here? One, two, so two factorial, and uh, how many? What are the things repeated here? Now tell me. T, how many t repeated here? One, two, so two factorial. That is my answer. Why we are writing here? Two m's, two t's, two a's. So this is what, this is what, given to you. So this is what given to you. And this is the answer. This is the answer. Eleven factorial can be eleven factorial divided by two into two into two. Just solve this. Whatever the answer you get, that is what your answer is going to be. Clear, children? Understood my point? How I am doing here? What I am doing basically? देखो मैंने what I what I was trying to say here. Whenever you write a permutations, whenever you write permutations, permutations is nothing but what arrangements. Whenever you write a different arrangements, what is the possibility of writing that? I just write total number of letters divided by the repeated letters. Whichever the letters are repeating here, I'll be writing that. Get my point? I'll be writing that. Okay, understood, children. Understood. There is not zero, guys. Write the answer here. Write the answer. Write some answer. Okay. Hope it is clear. Any doubts? Shall we solve one more question? Hello, children. One. Shall I solve one more question? Look at this here. How many different words can be formed by arranging the letters of daddy, daddy, daddy? Batao. Make it fast. Tell me, guys. Simple answer. Tell me the answer. See by looking at the question immediately, you can give the answer. You can't take this much time. Very simple. Tell me. Pravalika, are you here? Tanish. Yes, sir. What is the answer? What is the answer? Total number of letters. How many? One, two, three, four. Five. How many letters have here? Five factorial divided by divided by. Tell me how many repeated? Three D's are repeating, so three factorial. So then what about A and Y, sir? They are coming only one time. If you want to write one factorial into one factorial, write it. Who cares? No problem. Five, four, three factorial divided by three factorial. One into one factorial is one one. Even you write, even you don't write, doesn't make sense. So total twenty different. Words can be formed by arranging letters of words. Get my point? Twenty different letters. 
so how many words can i form the 20 different words i can write with a, a word called a daddy get my point 20 different words i can write you can write like this guys you know daddy i have right you can write d triple d y triple d a y okay uh, d d a d y anything 20 let's 20 different words you can write like that with the help of with the you know letters of daddy get my point hope it is clear Sir. Get my point. Any doubts? No, sir. Total divided by repeated letters. Now let's say that let's say that you have uh, uh, anything you write. Independence. 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 How do you do this? Tell me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So total twelve we have. So what is the answer, my? What is my answer? Is going to be make it fast. Twelve. One by two, sir. Huh? One by two. What is one by two? How one by two? One minutes. Total answer you are saying one by two. Final answer. Final answer one by two. How? Explain me. Look at it. Twelve. Twelve factorial divided by. Let's check one by two. Twelve factorial divided by how many? How many? Ah, uh, n's are repeating here. How many n's? Three. Three. How many D's? Two. Two. How many E's? Three. Four. Huh? Four, sir. Yes, E's are four. Okay, number of E's are four. Very good. So next. P is one. Uh huh? P is one. Remaining are one. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Uh, yeah, all that's it. So three factorial into two factorial into four factorial. So calculate this twelve into. Just that is the answer. If you simplify that, that's it. Eleven into ten into nine into eight into seven into six into five into four into three into two. Divided by three into two into one into two into one into four into three into two into one. You can expand it and write like this. Okay. So look at this now. Four, four, three, three two three two will get cancelled. Okay. Next look at this here. Three into two six. Two, right. Six. I'm cancelling six. Okay. Two ones. Two fours. Multiply this. How come one one by two? One. I don't understand how you are giving one by two answer. Twelve into ten. Eleven into ten into nine into four into seven into five. This much big number you have. Multiply this. You will get the answer. It is a big number. So need not to multiply like a two to by. Leave it. No problem. For understanding purpose, we are doing. If you want to multiply, you can just do it afterwards. Okay. Next. Next, the, how many different words can be formed with assassination? Assassination. Assassination. Take. Tell me the answer. Make it fast. How many different words can be arranged by using the letters of word called assassination? Guys, understand it. Don't you know? Remember the concept. Sir is giving similar type of sums, so the concept would be the same. Don't think in such a way, guys. I'm giving you similar sums for understanding purpose. You try to know what we are learning basically. Don't remember simply. Okay. 
So yes, make it fast. Quick, 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 quick. Don't tell me the final answer. Tell me in factorial form. That's it. Quick, quick, quick! I need a factorial form. What is the answer, guys? How long will you take? Hello. Hello. Are you here, guys? Are you here? How long? Yes. Will you take? Simple question. Are you able to understand what is the problem? I don't understand. Tell me, uh, probably, what is the problem, Vita? Pravalika, are you here? Yes, sir. What is the problem to solve this question? The question, what what we are doing? At least tell me. I mean, what is the problem? I mean, what is the sum? What is this problem is denoting as? Tell me. Are you here? From this assassination word, what we are doing? Hello. One minute, sir. How long? One minute, man. It took ten minutes, not one minute. You can't take this much time for you know silly question. I'm asking what we are doing here. Probably, ka. What I'm doing here with assassination word? What we are doing? What I told. Look at this here. The what was the question? What is the question? I told the question. How many different words we can? You know, form by using, uh, you know, by using the word called assassination. See here, how many different words can be formed by arranging the letters? These are the letters, right? All these are letters. How many letters I have total here? Total thirteen letters I have. Total how many? One, two, three, four, five, thirteen. One, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So total thirteen letters I have. By using these thirteen letters, how many words you can form? That is a question. 
without understanding the question like how come you go and perform in the exam hmm? are you are not asking like if you don't understand you ask me kindly you are not doing that number one number two is what no like no physically present mentally absent in the class number three number three simply looking at the screen and solving the similar type of question see this student to work at all think what's happening what we are doing with the question clear understood my point so you can't take look at it you almost yes, took like more than seven minutes sir is it third 13 factorial 13 factorial divided by 13 factor is there any like this lkg sum if you ask me lkg sum if i call and you know if i go and explain second class student also will answer very simple that is easy look at how many a's we have here how many a's how many a's two how many a's sir three ah huh? two a's and how many a's four a's how many i's Two. Two. Three. Okay, three eyes. Okay, three eyes. Very good. And how many ends? Two. Two. Is it? Then what is the repeating? How many ends? Two. Okay. Okay, that's it. These are the repeated. So two a two times repeating two factorial. Yes, four times repeating four factorial. I three times repeating three, three factorial. factorial, so two factorial. If the for answering this question, you took ten minutes of time. I don't know why. You can't take this much time. I'm sorry. Listen the class properly. Focus, focus here. Look at look at the question now. How many? How many different words can be formed? Same question I'm writing. Same question I'm writing with different condition by arranging the letters by letters of words. Asa si nation. So, ah. In the previous question, you got uh, uh, asa si nation, sir. So there will be two eyes only and three eyes. Three eyes, yes. So two, four, three, two. Yes, two, four, three, two. That's what I wrote here. Sir, assassination spelling. Sir, so there only two eyes we got. Sir, actually there are three eyes. Assassination. Acha, I wrote spelling wrongly. Yes. Then assassination. Then how many eyes will three come? Eyes. Three eyes. Three eyes. Anything. And two eyes. Sir. Two eyes, same thing, na? At last, same answer to aega. Look at this. Here, three, two bus, three factorial, four factorial, two factorial, two factorial. Khatam. Isn't it? Yes. Now look at this here. How many different words can be formed by arranging the letters assassination? Assassination such that all yes are together. Whatever the yes I have, guys, this type of questions are very important. All yes are together. Look at it. Sir, all yes are together. So all yes. How many yes we have? Four yes. So let me block all those in one box. Okay, I'm blocking all those in one box. So let me write remaining letters. Remaining letters are what? A, A, I, E, N, A, T, I, O, N. Isn't it? Isn't it? So all yes, yes I'm sir. considering as one unit. Why? Because all are same, right? All are same, right? So one. Let me take one. So now, what is talking about here? All are yes together. All the yes are together. He is saying. So I'm blocking all yes together as one unit. So remaining are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So total, how many I have here? Nine letters I have. Okay, nine plus one, how many? Ten letters. Ten divided by what I do now? What I do now? Uh, uh, repetition. Calculate how many a's and. Ah. Three num three a's are repeating, two i's are repeating, yes. two a's two n's are repeating here. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Into into look at this here. Look oh, at s as one l. Ah. All s as one. All s as one. How many s we have here? How many s? Four s. Four s. Four s can be arranged in four different ways, which is four factorial. Divided by how many four? How many s are repeating here? Four s divided by four s, which is nothing but one only or not? One. 